Rojo really was conceptually a large part of this exhibition. His voice is there, his quotes are all over the text panels, and he was in my mind the entire time I was putting together this show. He took an existing piece of his called Gate, and it's a replication of his father's actual gate at his home in Korea to scale. It's one-to-one -one scale, but it's replicated in the Celadon silk fabric. Beautifully executed, every detail is meticulously done. And then the real creative work is video animation that he and a team have put together. And so what he's done is he's taken this architectural piece and he's turned it into a screen for projection. It's the video animation that was really inspired by the objects in our collection. I haven't seen the full animation yet, but he has made the projection so that it should be filled completely wall-to-wall, -wall, floor to ceiling. He has taken the work from the Seattle Art Museum's collection and transformed it in a different fashion. I think it's wonderful to be able to include a really contemporary piece and in, in this one it's such a perfect fit because it's both made by a contemporary artist but it references a really old piece of architecture. We're having a ghost or a memory that rhymes really nicely with the kind of cultural context that's presented here in the exhibition. So much of his work is interested in looking at layers and peeling back layers and these fabric structures that he makes are all about the layers of his own past. He moved from Korea and came to the United States and yet still longing for that past life in Korea and not just the life that he had had but the Korean past, the tradition. So part of his fabric pieces were about recreating these structures but in a portable manner so that he could actually fold his father's gate with him and carry it around. So it's, I think it's an incredibly poignant and poetic idea. I mean, you just have to see this in person because it's really exquisite.